Defense was disappointing. Uh, the, the thing that was kind of surprising, no real pressure on C.J. Stroud. Um, Texans kind of moved up and down the field. Greg Newsom and Denzel Ward um, talked about the loss in the defense. It's tough. I'm still trying to figure out how to, how to move on from it. I mean, like I said, we um, definitely didn't want to be at this, this point. Wanted to move ahead uh, in the playoffs. And, um, but don't want to discredit what we're capable of, able to do during the regular season. Guys did a great job, but um, just got to find a way to be better uh, next season and find a way to uh, be able to advance. I think it's definitely um, on us. I feel like a, a lot of the plays, um, you know, if, if you really watch the game, a lot of it was eye control, um, a lot of stuff like that. It wasn't really, you know, their scheme just out schemed us or just, just beat us. I just feel like we, we didn't hone in on the little details, and that's what we've been focusing on the whole time. You know, when you get to the playoffs, the margin for, you know, error is, is even slimmer than the regular season. You know, you could lose a game and go to the next game and, and continue to build, but in the playoffs, you, you, don't, you don't have the opportunity to play a bad game or, or have a bad snap. So uh, I think it was definitely um, things that we, we can correct. Yeah, Scott, I don't know about you. I, I, I knew Stroud was good. I, I was just surprised that – they didn't try to get after him a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know if they didn't try, but they certainly didn't have any success doing it. Um, you know, they took Miles Garrett out of the game. Part of that was Laramie Tunsil. Part of it was double and triple teams. Part of it was they rolled away from him a bunch and the misdirection. And, you know, Jim Schwartz's scheme, and we've talked about it, and it they were great all year long, or for, you know, overall for the whole season, number one ranked in yardage. Um, they're aggressive. They try to get up the field. And when you make them slow down with the misdirection, that has an impact. Now, if they're dealing, you know, if they get a couple negative plays, which the Browns defense led the league in negative plays, then it's different if it's second and 15, right? It's third and 12. Then it's a different spot. But it felt like the Texans were always ahead of things, always kind of controlling the tempo and the pace. And the, the Browns didn't have any answers. And a couple of times they came close to getting to Stroud, and he hung in there and delivered the ball. And those are difference-making plays, right? JOK hit him in the chest to one, and I think it turned into a touchdown. Um, I think it was Taki Taki came free on another one. He lofts it out on a swing pass and, you know, picks up yardage. And if he hangs on for another second, it's a loss of yard. You know, it's a negative play, and the Browns have some momentum. So he really handled everything. And I think, like I said, Slowick put him in a bunch of good positions. And the Browns were never able to fluster him or that Texans offense.